just want to praise you forever and ever and ever for all for me. Amen. Uh, and we're going to ask, uh, is uh, Deacon Henderson on the line this morning? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Deacon, we're going to ask you to pray for us, amen, this morning uh, in a Deacon's prayer. Uh, and uh, Sister Blake is going to come to us uh, with, our, with our scripture this morning. Let's welcome First Lady Sister Blake. Oh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, Great of Faith. We're going to look into the Word of God this morning in Philippians 3rd chapter, 13th verse. And it reads, Brothering, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which, which are behind and reaching forth into those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. God bless you. Deacon Henderson. Yes. <clears throat> Father God, I do thank you for another day, Lord. God, you gave us a day that wasn't promised to us, Lord. You watched over us last night as we slept and slumbered, Lord, and you woke us up and closed in our might, right mind, Lord. And God, we give you glory and honor, Lord. God, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Lord, just thank you for another day, Lord. Dear Lord, I lift my church family up to you, Lord. Lord, I thank you so much for the brothers and the sisters, Lord, our friendship and love that you have uh, provided for us with one another, Lord. Dear Lord, and I still speak healing to the ones that are sick, Lord. Dear Lord, I lift up our, 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 our sister Lowe, 
Lord, and I lift up the list, Lord. Lord, I thank you for allowing me to go pick up Sister Ruth, Lord. She's in good health, Lord. I brought her home yesterday. God, I just thank you for the healing that you've given her, Lord. Continue to bless the household, Lord. Continue to heal them, Lord. Continue to bless them in a mighty way, Lord. Lord, I ask for an for, for extra measure of faith to go on, Lord, to, that we know that you're more than able and capable of doing what you do, Lord. Lord, and I just thank you for Bishop, Lord. I, I ask you prepares to bring the word, Lord. Lord, let something be said that can help us with our walk, Lord. And God, I give you growing honor that you so richly deserve, Lord. Lord, I magnify your holy name. God, just thank you for all that you've done for us, Lord Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Praise God. We thank God for the blessing this morning. And, uh, and, uh, and we thank you for uh, the... Uh, prayer and the scripture. Amen. Deacon Henderson and First Lady, praise God. We are, as we get ready for a, another song from Minister Galloway, uh, Sister Tammy, praise God. Amen. Uh, I, I know you're ready. Praise God for a song. And then Sister Loretta, praise God. We're going to come back to you again this Sunday. And uh, we thank God for you. We want to continue to be in prayer Amen for Pastor Lowe and, uh, and, uh, and Sister Lowe. Uh, we love them and we just thank God uh, for the Lord uh, touching and healing uh, them and restoring their bodies. Uh, and we just praising God for that. We also believe in God for Pastor Harvey Hale. Amen. He is uh, uh, right now in the hospital uh, and we just believe in God going to touch his body, heal his body uh, and the Leonard family. Just remember them uh, as they are, are recovering. Praise God. The, the Bible says, amen, if there's any sick among you, call for the elders of the church and the prayer of faith will raise them up. And it says, any, any sick among you, amen, uh, we need to pray and, and God will, will bless and heal. So we thank God for the blessings of the Lord and what God is, is doing and what God is going to do. Amen, because we, we know that because of Jesus' provision for our healing, that we are healed today. So we thank God for it. Amen. We're going to have a worship song, amen, by Sister Tammy. Sister Tammy, are you ready? We just thank God for you. Amen. If you could bring us a worship song. Well, hold on just a minute. I got to get mine set up. <laughs> I, well, thought, well, I thought set, you was going well, to Brother Galloway set, uh, first. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Well, we'll do that. Amen. I know I know. Uh, Minister Galloway is always ready. Praise God. Amen. We'll go to Minister Galloway right now, and then we'll come back to you uh, after we have our, uh, our announcements, and we'll come back to you. Minister Galloway. If I had my choice, I'd choose you every time, choose every time. I'm 
Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Minister Galloway, for uh, that worship uh, uh, song and time this morning. We just thank God for each and every one of you, amen, that are on our prayer call. I mean, on, I'm so used to the prayer line, praise God, or in worshiping with us this morning, amen, for Greater Faith Community Church. So we, we just, we're praising God for worship, amen, and, and, and saints of God as we go throughout the service this morning. Amen. I want you to uh, uh, enter into a place of worship. I don't know where where you uh, where you may uh, be worshiping from. Whether it's your living room, whether it's your kitchen, <clears throat> where you may be worshiping from. But use that place as a sanctuary. Use that place as a place where you can say, "Lord, here I am. I come to worship you, and I come to give you praise, and I come to give you the glory." Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we thank the Lord. Amen. Sister Tammy is going to get ready to come. Let's, we're going to do the, have our, uh, any kind of announcements. Amen. That, that we're going to have. Uh, let me say this week, this Wednesday, uh, we will, uh, we will um, uh, be back by, by Zoom uh, this Wednesday. I don't think there's anything particular. Is this, is this prayer Wednesday? Sister Henderson, yeah. do you, is, is this prayer Wednesday? It usually is, Bishop, yes. But we, okay. we're not going into the All sanctuary right. to pray uh, yet. Okay. Well, uh, uh, this Wednesday, uh, saints of God, amen, uh, we're going to do uh, prayer this Wednesday, but we're going to do prayer this Wednesday in conjunction with the prayer line. And so uh, this Wednesday, we're gonna join the prayer line. We're gonna ask them to drop down an hour. They usually, they were starting at nine. We're gonna ask them to drop back an hour and, uh, and we'll send the prayer line uh, information out to everyone and we'll join the prayer line. And these are folks that that's from around the state of Texas uh, that's on the prayer line praying. And so we will join them this, this Wednesday uh, on the prayer line. Uh, and so, Sister Henderson, are there, are there any other announcements that we need to uh, need to know? Oh, oh, by the way, next Sunday, uh, we are going to be back at, uh, in the house on next Sunday. Praise God. In the house next Sunday. Amen. So we thank God. Uh, Sister uh, Henderson, is, are there any other announcements? I don't do the announcements, sir. That's Sister Sandy. Okay. Is she on the line? Uh, Bishop, I don't believe that there's any more. I think uh, unless we have leadership and we were just waiting on Pastor to get strong and well. Yes. And don't forget the Martin yeah, Luther King. Right. So, oh, 
Martin Luther King celebration is tomorrow at um, Cecil Homer Park. Okay. Let's let's remember remember uh, that time and um, and uh, be ready for that. So Tammy's gonna come, a man with a song, and we just thank God for her. And uh, and then afterwards we uh, we will do our offertorial uh, time, and then uh, Sister Sister uh, Odom is going to come and uh, and lead us in the worship song after that. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah, um, Amen. Glad to be. We can call our house the house of the Lord if we want to this morning. Hey. Glad to be among the saints, among the body of Christ this morning. Um, uh, I did work last night, so y'all, uh, I'm a little haggard this morning. Please forgive me. <laughs> but, you know, this song is just um, kind of like uh, my, my go-to song. And I just want to sing this, um, dedicate this song to those that are going. <coughs> through, those in the body that are going through, those in our uh, church body uh, that are going through. It's, it's so hard to see so many people so sick and and I just, I mean, I just am brought to tears just with what's going on, but I know that I know that God has us all in his hands and um, glory to God. I just know that we're all safe in, in his arms. So I'm going to just sing that song and I'm going to try to get through it if, if I can hold up. So y'all bear with me. God bless. I don't know if y'all can hear. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadows, grass, and yes, and he leads me beside the quiet streams. He restores my failing health. He helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. I'm safe in his arms. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He lets me rest in the meadows, grass, and rest. And he leads me beside the quiet streams. He restores my failing health, oh yeah. And he helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. That's why I'm safe. I'm safe in his arms. Now when the storms, when the storms of your life, oh yeah, and the billows, and the billows roll, they begin to roll, and I, I'm so glad, I'm glad. 
that he shares hug me hey i'm safe yes i am in his arms so let the lord be your shepherd oh yes and you'll have everything you need he'll let you rest in the meadows grass and yes yes and he'll lead you beside the quiet streams he'll restore your failing arrow have you to do what honors him the most don't you feel safe don't you feel safe don't you feel safe Say in his arms. Now when the storm, when the storm of life is raging, and the billows, and the billows roll. I'm so glad, I'm glad he shall, he shall hug me. I'm, I'm so glad he shall, he shall hug me. Said I'm so glad God's gonna hide me safe. Oh yeah, yes. When the storms of life are raging, I can't find my way. I'm glad he shall, he shall hide me. When the storms of life are raging, I can't find my way. I'm glad he shall, he shall hide me. When the storms of life are raging, I can't find my way. I'm glad he shall, he shall hide me. Hallelujah. I'm so glad God's gonna hide me safe. Oh yes, oh yes, he shall. you lord hallelujah said i'm safe in his and his loving arms he always brings me right back oh, oh, oh. said i'm safe in his i found joy love peace and happiness i'm safe i'm so safe in Ooh, oh, 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 yes. I'm safe in his arms. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Sister Tammy, it sounds it sounds like you you have been uh, uh, looking at my notes this morning. Praise God, Amen. And um, thanks to God, we just thank God for what He is doing. How many of you know? that if it had not been even be here, 
So we pray his blessing with you this morning. Um, I want you to turn into to Acts the 27th chapter, Acts 27. We just are happy today to, to say that we are healed and staying COVID free and uh, and uh, we have to buy the spirit of sickness and let's look at at the ninth verse ninth chapter and we're going to begin at verse number nine let me get over there and um, and see here um, Uh, I'm in our new building here, and um, I don't have Wi-Fi, so I have to be in a certain spot, and that's and then and it's slow. Uh, so bear with me here a minute. As we look at this text today, seven and nine. All right, Acts 27, verse nine. And it says, much time had been lost and the voyage was now dangerous since the days of reconciliation had already passed. Paul warned them, men see that our voyage will suffer danger or damage and great loss, not only for the cargo and ship, but also for our lives. But the centurion was persuaded more by the ship's pilot in captain than by Paul's advice. Since the harbor was uh, unsub unsubduable and sending the wet weather or winter, the majority of the support uh, supported a plan to put out to sea from there. They brought to him uh, a might of uh, reach from Phoenix to Creed and spent the winter and spent the winter in its harbor, which faced southwest and northwest. And the gentle south winds began to blow, and they thought that they could carry out their plan. They pulled up an anchor and sailed closely along the coast of Creed. Before long, the hurricane strengthened and the winds blew, and they knew as the northeastern swept down from Creed. The ship was caught in the storm and could be turned into danger of the winds. So they gave it, they gave into it and carried them as they went along. As the ship was under the shelter of the islands, and as the scripture reads on, let me drop down to uh, the passage that I'm trying to get to uh, here. 
in verse 27, on the 14th night, they were being carried across uh, the Arctic Sea. Around midnight, uh, the sailors began to suspect that the land was near. They dropped the weight, uh, lay and take so uh, surrounding and found the water to be about 120 feet. And um, in verse 31, Paul said to the centurion and his soldiers, unless they stay in the ship, you cannot be saved from peril. The soldier then cut the ropes to the lifeboat and let it drift away. I was, uh, as I was at lost a place here, verse 31 is our key scripture this morning. And Paul said to the centurion and soldiers, unless they stay in the ship, you cannot be saved from the peril. I want to use as a subject something simple this morning and, uh, and have its own gravy and has its own need to make the message um, stay in the ship. Stay in the ship. Uh, this story, um, as we look at it this morning in our text, and uh, bear with me as I, as I try to navigate um, my purpose of coming to the building this morning um, was to uh, uh, get the anointing of God flowing in the presence of the saints you saints Brownwood in this building even before we open up. And many of you were with, with me as we kind of took a little tour and my and the, the Wi-Fi signal is not in here. And depending on where I am, you lose the signal completely. So I'm 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 straggling here trying to trying to keep my my computer uh, up my, my laptop up as as I go along here. But stay in the ship. This life challenges us right now in a big way. Life, just normal life, is a challenge. Going to the supermarket, you it, it's a change when you when you get up in the morning and you put on your your clothing. Uh, you have to make sure. That you that you get your mask. You got to make sure that you have sanitizer. You got to make sure that when you wherever you do go out, uh, that others around you are, are observing safe distancing. So we're living in in a different time altogether. We're living in a time where people are stressed beyond stress. Uh, the they're saying now that, that the uh, psychiatrists and the mental health people are, uh, are also over scheduled and overworked, just trying to keep people uh, mentally intact because of the stress of finances and the stress of being uh, shut in and not able to go and do the normal things that you normally do. Um, uh, folks are stressed uh, in, in many intense ways. Uh, in the news, we see our people just over a parking spot, uh, getting fist bites over a parking spot because tension has risen. Uh, uh, in our school system with kids and the pressures that are on kids because they have to do online learning and and many of them are missing even on that, that don't have uh, the supervision at home for those things that are, we're living in a different time now. Folks can't go to the house of God and worship and, 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 and touch and meet one another and see one another. 
and hear one another's testimony and praise. We're living in different times now. And my encouragement uh, to the body of Christ is now when these winds and this turmoil is, is upon us, stay in the ship, praise God, hallelujah. Now, th 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 that's a statement that seems to be uh, just an uh, average normal statement that a preacher ought to say. Uh, but I wanna tell you right now, there, 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 there are gonna be many, praise God, because churches have been shut down. There's gonna be many that's going to drift away. They're going to drift away and be lost because of the fact that there have been a breach um, in their ability to come to the house of God. Uh, many are going to think that I can just tune in online and catch a preacher online and uh, whenever I want to. And, and, um, but let me tell you something, saints of God, the Bible says forsake not the assembling of ourselves together as a matter of self. It's something about the church coming together. It's something about seeing one another, lifting up your hands together in corporate worship that God had a plan for the body of Christ, amen, to encourage and lift up one another while you're praising and lifting up the Lord. It, it's, it's something about being together. If, if that wasn't so, praise God, there would, there would be no need for uh, uh, cribs. There'd be no need for uh, 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 anything for babies because if, if, if that was so, nobody would have children if it wasn't, it, it wasn't a union, a gathering, a coming together. And so the same thing is with the, uh, the, the children and the family of God. You know, a few months ago, I was, I was talking to uh, a, uh, a friend of mine and he was, he was telling me that, that he hadn't been physically to church uh, in, in eight or nine months. He hadn't been physically in, uh, in a building in eight or nine months. And he said, I've kind of gotten, gotten used to it. He said, I've gotten used to getting up on Sunday morning and uh, and I don't have to dress, I don't have to do anything. I can just turn on the TV and I can just catch my preacher, amen, in for about an hour uh, or 45 minutes. And then I, I'm going about my day. He said, I kind of like this new, new way of doing things, amen. And I told him, I said, let me tell you something, amen. Uh, church is more than just catching your preacher in 30 or 40 minutes, because when you become the church, Amen. You become connected, and being connected brings us into one place, amen, in one spirit, amen, so that we can, amen, reach out and win those that are lost. Now, storms coming our life, saints of God. We all have storms coming our life, whether COVID was here or not. Being a child of God does not exempt us trouble, praise God. Storms will come uh, in our lives. And there are two kinds of storms. There's, there's a storm of, of perfection and a storm of correction. Uh, and so when, when God takes us through the storm, you have to ask the Lord, God, what's in this storm that, that is for me? Why are you taking me through this storm? Well, Jonah's storm, amen. We all know the story of Jonah, amen. Jonah was, was on the, in the storm of correction, praise God. We know that jo Jonah had a bad attitude. Yeah, he did not want the people of Nineveh to be saved, praise God. And God, and God had, to, had to challenge him um, uh, about uh, him deviating from the plan of God. Jonah's storm was, was one of, uh, of those those uh, uh, storms that came to correct his behavior, to correct and bring perfection in his life. Job had a problem, amen, uh, himself, uh, because Job was self-righteous. God finally told Job, amen, where were you, amen, when I placed, amen, the sun and the stars in the galaxy? Who do you think you are, Job, mystic stuff, amen? Who do you think you are? Amen. That you, amen, would challenge, amen, the authority that God has. Let me tell you something, saints of God. Amen. God has a call and God has a purpose for every one of our lives. 
The problem with many of us is, is that many, many times God has to bring a storm in our life to bring us back in, into correction and into perfection. God will move and cause things to come. Many of the afflictions, the Bible says, are the righteous, but God has delivered us out of them all. Trials come to make us strong. So if trials come to make us strong, then you got to ask God, God, why am I going through? And God, what purpose is this trial? What purpose is this storm? So uh, when trials come, it, it, it will make us strong, but trials also come to increase our faith. Do you hear what I'm saying? Trials come to increase our faith. Trials will build our character. Trials will build our relationship with God. Trials will cause us, amen, to hate sin. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. People look at the at, 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 look for reasons, amen, to jump ship. Amen. Uh, uh, many times folk come to church and they and they're waiting on somebody to say something wrong uh, to them. So they can have an excuse, amen, not to come back. And then they have enough nerve to say, amen, yeah, the, those church folk is the reason why I don't go to church. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And they don't say that about Walmart. Amen. amen. Some tell her to be rude at Walmart, but they don't still go back to Walmart. But when it comes to the church, they wait for, amen, somebody, amen, to say something, or they say someone say something, amen, for reason for them not to go back to the house of God. You know, amen, uh, the moment trial, a trial comes, or the things that, that, that don't go our way, and we want to pick up, amen, our marbles and go home and play in another field. Praise God, hallelujah, amen. But, but trials come to bring accountability to us. Praise God, amen. The, the 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 marriage at the at the at the first sign of trouble, you can't decide that you're going to just amen jump out of that marriage and get you another one. Praise God, Hallelujah. So so uh, accountability comes to us, amen, through the area of trials. How are you going to handle, amen, things that come that doesn't go your way? Praise God. Now, if we were in, in a leadership role in the church. The first time that we run into opposition, we can get ready to pick up and then get our purse, amen, and, and, and get our hat, amen, and hit the door, amen. Many of you uh, there are on, the, on this line today, praise God, amen. If, praise God, somebody not agreeing with you, if somebody, amen, not deciding to speak to you was the reason why you quit going to church, you would have stopped a long time ago. Praise God. Hallelujah. But, but you're not there because, amen, somebody likes you. You're there because you're in love with Jesus Christ. You're in love with the Lord. Amen. God has an assignment on you. Amen. That's why when God plants you somewhere, praise God, you say, God, until you move me, until you lift me up, until you bring to take me to a higher place, amen, I am in obedience to you. Praise God. I, I am walking the way you want me to walk. I'm going to talk the way you want me to, and I'm going to be faithful to the house of God because you call me to this place. Praise God. Hallelujah. Saints of God, we got to know how to stay in the ship, praise God, and hold on because God is going to bring deliverance and help, praise God. Now, now the conditions in life sometimes, amen, becomes overwhelming and it seems like, amen, that we cannot endure. Have you ever had, a, had to, to wait for a train, praise God? Have you ever had to wait for a bus, amen? All you could see, amen, is, is one caboose at a time. All you could see is one bus coming. And then you look at the bus, if you, if you ever been uh, waiting on a bus somewhere in the city, and you wait and you wait and you wait and you look to see if it's your bus, if, if it's the bus going the, the direction that you are wanting to go. Praise God. Amen. And if the bus is not the bus, amen, the coming that you want to go, that doesn't mean, praise God, well, I'm going to walk 15 blocks because, amen, that bus wasn't my bus. And you get an attitude because that bus wasn't your bus. Situations in life come, praise God, where 
things will not work out in exactly. Your bus may not come. Somebody else's bus may come. Somebody else may get blessed. Somebody else may get elevated. Amen. We don't jump ship the cough. Amen. We don't get our way. Can you give God a praise right there? Yet, yet, we said sometimes, we set our sails, amen, and intention, with the intention of going to point A to point B. Praise God. Amen. Uh, and these, these, these sailors that was on this ship, they had set their sails. They had decided that they were going to go from point A to point B. Amen. But the storm came up in our text today. And when the storm came up, in our text today, they found out, amen, that the ship was not in safety. Praise God. Sometimes, amen, we carry, amen, uh, uh, baggage. Sometimes we carry things, praise God, along with us that we find out that what we're, where we're going, amen, is not a safe journey because what we're carrying with us, amen, we may have to get rid of, amen. So we find here, amen, that the apostle appears uh, amazed at what was happening in the presence of an anointed God. Amen. There was the ship, and the ship seemed to not be safe for the men that were aboard. Even, even the structure, amen, began to reel and rock, amen, in the presence of this storm. Praise God. Hallelujah. But uh, the man of God, amen, Told them, praise God, amen, what you have to do in the midst of all that you're going through, praise, you got to stay in the ship, amen. Well, Paul didn't know exactly where safety was going to come, praise God, but all he knew was stay in the ship, amen. We don't know, praise God, how long Corona is going to be with us, but stay in the ship, praise God. It is not easy to have church on Zoom, but Stay in the ship. Hallelujah. It's not easy, amen, to carry out your worship and carry out your auxiliaries and all the things that you do, but stay in the ship. Some of you on the line this morning, amen, have been through corona, amen. You've been through some trials and you've been through some tribulation, but stay in the ship. Praise God. If times may have gotten where well, finances have gotten rough, but stay in the ship. Praise God. If we have, praise God, a sick pastor right now, sick first lady right now. Amen. But saints of God, this is a time for the church to stay in the ship. Praise God. There's some folks in your family, praise God, that may be going through, but stay in the ship. Praise God. Have you ever felt like even throwing your hands up and saying, God, Amen. Amen. I don't feel like it today. God, I don't know if I can make it today, but I want to encourage you today. No matter what you're going through, stay in the ship. Hallelujah. No matter what comes your way, stay in the ship. Praise God. Because we, we got a God, praise God, who sits hot and he looks low. Hallelujah. Can somebody give him a praise right now? We got a God that knows what you're going through. We got a God, praise God, that's able to bring you out. Praise God. We got a God that heal and set free and deliver. I feel like giving him a praise in this place today. Stay in the ship, saints of God. Hallelujah. Now listen, praise God. On tomorrow they're going to be celebrating the life and legacy of Dr. King. If Dr. King had got discouraged at the first sign of opposition and jump ship, we may not have the famous speech, I have a dream. That dream he had was to come to pass in the time that we live in. But we have to learn how to stay in the ship. I want to pray for you right now. I want to pray for you right now because storms, when the storms of life are raging. So this time we say, say when, when those storms come your way, God is an anchor. God is a deliverer. And God wants us to tell the house of God, 
Tell saints of God, don't jump ship, stay in the ship. They all got to shore safe. The book says that they came in, amen, on pieces, but they stayed with the ship. Sometimes you got to hold on, glory to God, to just a piece of the boat, but stay in the ship. Father, I thank you right now for your divine anointing right now. Oh, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you for your anointing right now, God. Um, Lord, thank you for encouraging us with this voyage that Paul and the men of God and those that had him there for a reason to imprison him and others. But God, you had the man of God to give them revelation to stay in the ship, to stay in the boat. Father, we thank you right now. We thank you for healing. We thank you for delivering. We thank you for setting free right now. Father, we thank you right now, God, that even though many of those that are in the healthcare and other, they're, they're walking through the valley of shadow of death. But God, you told them, fear no evil for you are with them. Every day, praise God. Some that are on this line, essential workers, they literally walk into the valley of shadow of death. But you said, God, that you're going to be with us. And you say your rod and your staff gonna, is going to protect us and keep us. We thank you right now for your blessing and deliverance. Those of you that are here on, on the line today, I want to I want to encourage you, but I want to challenge you. I want to encourage you by saying, keep on keeping on. But I want to challenge you by saying, there are many that you know by name that have gotten weak and they've kind of drifted away. You pray for them, you call them, you minister to them, and you tell them to stay in the ship. Tell them to be in coverage, no matter what's going on. He'll make it all right, but you gotta be strong. Stay in the ship, stay in the ship. If there are any prayer needs today, I'm assuming that everybody on the line is saved. I'm assuming everybody on the line is praying through whatever trials that you may have come, offense that you may have experienced. Even the times when it, that you may feel like uh, throwing your hands up. We want I want to pray for you in particular. If, those, if there's someone in here that online that, that has a need, I want you to go ahead and state it. We're gonna pray for those needs. If you got somebody that you, that you want God to touch physically in healing, I want you to call their name out. If you have someone that's close to you, close to you, that you want God to say in 2021, I want you to call their name out. They're all they need to try to go ahead, go ahead and stay up. Well, if, are there any stated needs? Okay, I'm assuming that that's Douglas you're not Byron. Here. Yes. Excuse me, Douglas Barron. Douglas Barron. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. 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 Douglas Barron. Douglas Barron. Sister Sandy, would you write? Uh, Douglas Barron's name down, write his name down, and um, uh, uh, we're going to do something special with these names. Anyone else? Anyone else? Jeremiah Gauna. Jeremiah. So Sandy, you write Jeremiah's name down. 
Anyone else? Of course, Sister Lowe. Sister Lowe. Okay. Pastor Lowe. Uh, the Leonards. Yes, the Leonards. Harvey Hale. Anyone else? Jim Caldwell. Jim Caldwell. Hey, hey Bishop. Else? Yes, can you can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Uh, I uh, spoke with Brother Tucker, and I pray to God that he'll get back in the boat. All right, Brother Tucker. Jerry Tucker. Yes. Yes. Write a name. Write his name down. Sister Sandy. Two stars by. We we never put three because that's that's. Uh, that, that's God's number. We'll put two. So we, we, we're going to we'll be in agreement. Anyone else? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, saints of God, here, here, here's what I want all of you. Here's what we're going to do in February. We normally would do it in January. We're going to do it in February for two reasons. We're going to do it in February. One is because that we were wanting to get both of our prayer lines and all our folks in, in, in line um, uh, to pray for our nation. Pray for our nation from going from transition uh, to transformation. We want to pray uh, for our nation, COVID, social justice. And so in, the, in February is Black History Month, Black History Month, but we want to look at Black History Month from the sense of transition to transformation in social justice, racial tensions. So we're moving our fasting and prayer, what would normally be in January, into February. So in February, we want you, we want you that this based upon you and your body, uh, but we want you to fast, whether it's whether it's TV, whether it's uh, whatever, uh, what whatever God is speaking to you to fast. Now, many of many of, of you will do the Daniel's fast, you know, to where you eat after six. If that's what you, if that's what your body can do, then you do that. If you need, if you need some kind of food, many of you will fast certain kinds of food. Some, some folk fast the TV, but you choose the fast or, or you ask the Lord, God, <clears throat> what is the fast that, that uh, is for me? What do I need, Lord? What do I need to push back? What do I need to fast so I can get closer to you? And you ask God to let you push that back, push that back uh, in February. And we're gonna do it in February, starting in the month of February. Now, saints of God, these names that we're going to collect from now, we're going to accumulate from now through February. We're going to pray for those names every day. We're going to have, we're going to get them to you. You're going to know them, and we're going to call their names out every day through the month of February. We also want to pray for Robert Crawford. Robert Crawford is uh, uh, um, my uh, I got word that he that he uh, was found by by Brother Flo Flowellen uh, in his home. He had been laying there two days in his home and now he's in the hospital uh, uh, here in Dallas. That, that's the story that I, that I got. So we want to pray for him both physically and spiritually. Uh, praise God. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm excited for many reasons, but I'm, I'm excited that the fervent prayer of the righteous avails much it avails much. And we're not going to lose nobody in this ship. We're not going to lose nobody. Because we're going to stay in the ship and we're going to pray. And we're going to call these names out, praise God. And we say, Lord, praise God, we're going to all come in together. Hallelujah. Because we're all going to stay in the ship. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I didn't do justice to the 
the, the text today, but the, you get the message that we're gonna we're gonna call the, these names out. We're gonna stay in the ship together, and what God's gonna do, He's gonna bless us to come through this thing and come through. And those that are drifted away, call the Lord in the name of Jesus. I call Jerry Tucker's name out in the name of Jesus. Devil, you are right. I don't know what the situation is, but I bind you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Bring that man of God back in the ship like he's supposed to be. Praise God. Whatever he's going through, deliver God in the name of Jesus. And we claim, hey, hallelujah, and we claim it done in Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't even know, I don't know, even know the situation, but amen. Uh, the Lord just prompted me to pray that prayer. Praise God. Amen. God bless. Are, are there any other names before we close out this morning? Amen. I see Pastor Lowe. Praise God. Amen. amen. Good to God. See you, Pastor. Glory to Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory Pastor to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, amen. Just looking at you, brain joy. Amen. 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 Don't we love him, saints? Praise yes. God. Yes. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. All right. Amen. Well, we thank God for the blessing today. Praise God. Amen. Oh, uh, Sister, Sister Henderson, tell everybody again. That they and they know how they can do their offering today. Okay. Um, for our tithing, we can send it over to Greater Faith at 417 Wesley, Brownwood, Texas, 76801. You can also make it a part of your bill payment through your bank, and or we can drop it off at the church to Sister Alice or drop it in the mailbox during the weekday. And she will make sure that it gets to the church. Sister Sandy. Amen. Shirley Rittenhouse is the name that Brother Draper wants on her too. Shirley Rittenhouse, <clears throat> praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, saints of God, amen. I uh, am going to give you all a quick look again at our at our property here out of door uh, in the secretary's office this is the secretary's office amen as we're here uh they are going to put down the carpet uh tomorrow we'll finish putting it down amen but this is the secretary's office uh this is our sanctuary this is the fellowship hall uh, uh that's here they're laying tile right now and uh, and then this is the kitchen area. We're still working on it, uh, but it's it's there. And uh, that's our baptistry and platform there, and uh, and our, our worship center here. And uh, it is this is the front entrance, and out there pouring, uh, they're pouring the concrete. I'll finish that this week. This is uh, in their parking lot and uh, they'll finish pouring uh, that maybe this week, uh, this coming week uh, and down the side. So we are, we're praising God for what the Lord is doing here. As you come in, men's bathroom, women's bathroom, bathrooms, uh, there, classrooms, and this is going to be this is going to be my office uh, here. Uh, a little small, but uh, you know, I shouldn't be in here uh, a long time anyway. This is my restroom. Uh, when they finish it out, uh, uh, that's uh, there. I can say classroom here. And 
and back here. <clears throat> this is going to be our, our, a, our conference room. Uh, uh, back here, this goes up to the baptistry. And uh, the property line goes all the way back to the tree, uh, tree line there. And we're sitting on six acres. Uh, goes back over there. So we we thank God for what God is has done. And what you see here is all debt free. It is uh, it is debt free, and uh, we owe nobody but the love of praise the name of Jesus. So we thank God for for what God is doing. Are you back where you can hear me? Amen. All well, we right. Can hear you the whole time. We'll continue to be continue to be in prayer. <clears throat> we hope to have faith faith covenant fellowship uh, independent churches conference uh, here. We're probably going to move it to uh, July, maybe first of August, and uh, and uh, we'll set a date on it. But we always going to also be determined how um, how uh, the vaccine and how COVID uh, uh, is is kind of conquered or, or whatever controlled uh, before we we settle in on exactly whether or not we need to meet or not. But we're looking forward to it. But uh, when we do, we'll have this ready to go uh, by the end. So we, we praise God for the blessings of the Lord and what God is doing. Anybody got any, any, uh, any announcements or any comments before we dismiss? Yeah, uh, Bishop, um, I was talking with um, Deacon Barnes um, yesterday and he was telling me also that uh, Minister Hogan uh, had COVID also, so continue to pray for him. Oh, wow. Yes, Will. Uh, is he... Uh, is, 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 he <clears throat> is he in the hospital uh, or anything like that? He uh, hadn't been hospitalized, has he? He... he I don't know, Sister Sandy, wasn't he? I think that he he, he had to take breathing treatments or something. I don't remember. Well, he was telling me a whole bunch, him and uh, 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 Deacon um, uh, Donnie. So I don't remember the whole story of it. Yes. Well, we, we uh, Sister Sandy, add, add him to the list. Add him to the list. We want to continue. Uh, um, uh, or add him to the list so we can be, we can have him uh, there for prayer as as they are. Uh, so we praise God for God's blessing and God's goodness. Uh, saints continue to continue to pray and continue to be faithful to the Lord. Amen. If God said the same, and we'll 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 make that call on Wednesday. If God said the same, we'll we'll be in the house on next Sunday. But uh, we'll we'll make a definite uh, announcement on on Wednesday uh, and uh, then we just uh, we just glad to let see Pastor Lowe uh, on with us this amen, morning. Amen, Praise amen. God. Amen. Praise Thank God. God. And, uh, everyone. Amen. Pastor Lowe, uh, 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 give, give us an update on Sister Lowe. Uh, well, we had a, a conference call with the, with our doctor again this morning. Uh, Sister Law's condition, she's still in serious condition. Right now, she's still got a lot of things that's working against her. It seems like once they get one thing uh, under control, then another thing pops up. Uh, but she's fighting. But like the doctor said this morning, she still is in serious condition. So we just pray that, uh, you know, because it seems like once she get over one situation, then like another disease or bacteria comes up or whatever the case may be. But uh, again, we just said, you know, uh, everybody continue to pray. Uh, 
she's fighting. She's fighting, but like I said, she has a long ways to go. But um, again, I just want to thank the church and everybody for your prayers and everything. Um, it means so much. It means so much to me, and I'm knowing uh, for the sister Lojess as well. Um, I'm doing better. Um, I'm still having a little breathing issue, but, but other than that, I'm doing I'm doing pretty good. So I thank God for that also. Amen. Amen. Well, we we Amen. we we we're just so happy to see you and hear you uh, for sure. We'll continue to pray for Sister Lowe's uh, speedy recovery. Praise God, Amen. Um, but by His stripes, she she's healed, and we believe yes. that. And uh, yes. so we thank God. Amen. Saints of God, Amen. God bless you. Excited about what God is to continue to do at GFCC. Amen. Uh, keep believing, keep holding on in faith, and uh, God's going to bring us through. Are there any other announcements or comments before we dismiss? Hey, hey, hey Bishop, instead of that being Robert Crawford, that's Mark Crawford. Oh, it's Mark. Yeah, it's Mark. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. It is Mark. I said Robert. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. Mark. Yes, it's Mark. Yeah, mm -hmm. I said Robert, but I, but I meant, I, I meant to. Yes, I meant Mark. Yes. Yeah, be in prayer for him. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm going to reach out to, to Odell and see how he's doing. Yes. You say something, Brother Galloway? Yeah, uh, I, I almost forgot. I, I, Lord, I almost forgot. My my daughter, uh, she had gotten sick this week. She thought it was Corona, but uh, it diagnosed her with strep throat. So uh, that's a blessing that she didn't have Corona. But keep her Amen. in prayer. That uh, she she uh, I talked to her yesterday, and she st she started to feel better. She had texted me yesterday morning, and she was like, "Dad, I'm not feeling any better." And then by that afternoon, she called me and said that she started to get her strength back. So, so it was just a, a quick turn in the same day. That that morning she wasn't feeling too good, but then by lunchtime she had got her appetite back up and she was uh, feeling her strength again. So, just continue to keep her in your prayers. Amen. <clears throat> Pastor Lowe, how is Michaela doing? Amen. Well, she's. Um, yeah. She's doing fine. Uh, she's still having some time of little breathing issues, but no, but she's she's getting better every day also too. Praise God. Yes, she's getting better also too. Yes. Well, say do you, do you see how how important it is for us to to get on these uh, the, the Zoom worship time you know, for the church to come together on Zoom? Tell others. Uh, to jump on with us on Wednesday, it is important that that we jump on with one another to see one another and just encourage one another because it's it's uh, it it does everyone good to see you know it, it's bad enough not to be able to come together, but uh, uh, it's the Zoom. Thank God for Zoom. Uh, it uh, it gives us an opportunity to see one another and hear one another's voice. God bless everybody. We thank God for God's blessing. Continue to support. Give to your church. Uh, amen. This, uh, uh, I want I want to let me just say this this to you. Um, this property here that I just showed you, uh, some uh, a person, several people. But a man asked me yesterday. He came by yesterday. We were out here working. They were still working out here. And he asked me. He said. He said uh, he said, uh, Bishop, he said, you don't have faith. And I said, oh, really? He said, yeah. Who would do a construction uh, doing this corona virus time and all the stuff that's going on where churches are cutting back and churches are closing their doors and, uh, and you guys are building? And, and, and I said, how are you doing that? And how are you doing that? Uh, financially. And I said, well, uh, I said, people believe uh, God's word, believe in the ministry. And I said, uh, both of our ministries in Brownwood and here, uh, God, God is blessing because people are, are trusting God, they're believing God, and they're still giving, um, and, and God is still providing. And so saints, 
continue to do that because many churches are, are going under and closing their doors uh, because of the fact that people are not coming in and people are, are not supporting, they're not giving. Uh, but but God, God is, is definitely blessing, amen, um, great faith and blessing us uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the area of resources and, uh, and God is keeping on encouraging us. So keep on giving, keep on believing God, amen. Right here on this property, praise God, amen. Uh, just in this quarter, uh, close to $300,000 came in for us to finish this project uh, uh, here um, at the, on this corner. So we just, you know, we said, God, you're amazing. <laughs> so yes, you're amazing, yes. God. Don't know how, mm -hmm. uh, don't know anything that we're doing different uh, other than just preaching and believing God. And uh, God, it, God is definitely providing. And so we praise God for it. God bless your sons of God. Amen. And we Amen. thank God for each one of you. Father, I just thank you right now for people of God, for the family of God. God, uh, I know you love them, God. But Lord, you put the love in my heart for the people of God. So God, I thank you right now for what you're doing at Greater Faith Community Church. Continue to bless, continue to move right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless everybody. God keep everybody. Amen. Amen. Hope to see you next Sunday. God bless you. But we will see you on Zoom on Wednesday. God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Bishop. That was awesome. Bye, everyone. Bye.